Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing really, really super well. So for today's video, I am gonna be filming why, my what I got for Christmas. So I have been well and truly spoiled this year. I honestly can't even come to terms with how many amazing things I've got. Um, it's just, it's absolutely incredible. Um, I've got something that's side of me. Um, so yeah hopefully i've got everything i am pretty sure i've got everything obviously um i'm not going to be able to show you every single individual thing because a lot of things that we got were like sweets and chocolates and biscuits alcohol a lot of alcohol um so yeah obviously all that is downstairs but everything else i have brought up here to show you guys so yeah, I'm really excited to film this video. I don't think I've filmed this video for a couple of years now. Um, obviously last Christmas I don't think I was on... No, I wasn't... I had a break from YouTube so I didn't film it last year. But yeah, I have got so many amazing things to show you. Um, like everybody says in this video, this video is not in any way, shape or form to brag or boast about anything that that I've received for Christmas. It is purely because it is one of the most popular videos on this platform and I really wanted to do my own version of it because I wanted to show all the amazing little gifts that I got, or big and big gifts actually. Um, so yeah, myself and Connor were well and truly spoiled but obviously this video is just gonna be purely what I got for Christmas so Yes, let's get started. I'm going to try and do it in some sort of order um, of like what people got me. Um, but yeah, there is so much here that, yeah, I'm just going to try my best to sort of, you know, do it in a certain order of what people got me. So I'm actually going to start off with something that is behind the camera right now. And it is a ring light. So you might be able to see the reflection of the ring light in my glasses. So one of my presents from Connell, Connell is my boyfriend if you don't know already, he bought me a ring light and this is the first video that I'm actually um, using the ring light and it is absolutely fantastic, it is amazing. I don't actually know what brand it is but I will ask Connell and if he can give me a link then I will link this exact ring light down below um, because he said it was a great price for what it is and it is absolutely fantastic. It's really easy to use and everything like that. It's just, it's fantastic. And I believe he got it off Amazon. So if I can try and send a, like get a link for you guys, then I will do that also. So that is the first gift from Connell. Also, I've got a few bits that I'm wearing. So I wanted to show you before I forget. So basically that's just reminded me because my watch just went off so my main present from Connell this year was an Apple watch Um the one that I have got is the Apple watch SE version or the edition so it is basically the cheaper version of the two new ones the series 6 is the new one and the SE is basically like the cheaper version of that Um it just the SE is basically the version that has like a couple of things that aren't on the series 6 but yeah, I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm still trying to learn how to use it because it is quite complex. Um, or for me anyway. But I absolutely love it. It's just the best thing ever. Um, I love talking through it and um, like sending like voice messages and stuff to people. I just think it's fab. Um, so I got the one with the rose gold face and the uh pink strap as well so that was one well that was the main present that i received from connell this year and also i wanted to show you this so i'm not going to go too much into it because i don't want this video to be negative in any way but i am going to do like a little tribute video um on my channel at some point but i just haven't got around to it so a week before Christmas, so the Friday before Christmas, exactly a week before, um, we lost our dog, unfortunately. Um, she was 15 years old. We knew that we were going to lose her at some point. Um, she died of old age, so it wasn't, you know, necessarily anything horrible. Um, obviously, it was a really, really tough time for us all as a family. Um, yeah, and losing her a week before Christmas was very devastating for us as a family although we knew that 
it needed to happen and we all know as a family that we that she is in such a better place now um basically her back leg her back legs just went and yeah it was just it was just time for her um yeah she'd had an absolutely great life like i said she was 15 years old so yeah and one of my presents from connell this year he actually bought before my dog passed away so it meant even more to me opening it on christmas day because it was exactly a week after she'd passed so i don't know if you can see i'm gonna try and focus it if it will focus so it's basically this charm with a paw print on i can't actually show you very well because it's not focusing is it gonna focus there we go so it's that charm and then on the back of the charm is actually um a picture of her so let me try and let me try and show you it's really difficult to show you guys so i'm i'm sorry for the really weird angles Yeah, you can't, you can't really see it. Um, I probably... I'll either insert a picture or something um, of the actual picture in it. But it is a picture of my dog, Kita. Um, she was a Rhodesian Ridgeback, Akita German Shepherd Cross. So she were a three-way mix. She was absolutely gorgeous. Um, but I will insert a photo of the charm so that was another one of my presents from connell and i think out of all of them that was the most thoughtful and the most special one to me um because i don't think obviously connell bought it before she passed so i don't think that he really expected the reaction that i had on that day obviously i cried um because it was still very raw and it still is raw but yeah i miss her so much but i know that she's in a happy place and she's chasing sheep in fields and everything like that and she's with my grandma as well which brings comfort to me so yeah those were from connell i do actually have a couple of bits more from connell as well but i will show you them later on so i'm just gonna go sort of with them like other bits that like either Connell's family have bought me or friends or anything like that um, and then I'm going to show my mum's presents that I got from my mum last because my mum got me absolutely well us absolutely loads so what can I start with so the first present that I got um, which I actually opened on Christmas morning because they were from this was from my next door neighbour um, so it is a tipple and treat gin set so it's got a gin glass and a little bottle of wild berry gin and um, with some chocolates in which i just thought was super cute so that was from my next door my next door neighbor so that was absolutely lovely and then i got two things from my uh, from connell's mum and dad so basically they gave us both money this year so um we didn't have like a lot to open obviously we had like a few like we both had a few little bits but it was mainly money that they gave um us this year so i still got a little bit a little few bits to open anyway from them so this is a shower gel and bath bomb set um so i don't actually know what scent it's in it just says fragranced shower gel with love i'm not sure um but it's got a big bath bomb in it and then it's got a little shower gel at the bottom so that's really cute and then also from connell's mum and dad i just got some cute little bath crystals so these are pineapple bath crystals and um, which i thought was really really sweet so i've actually taken a liking to what it to taking baths at the moment so i have a lot of bath crystals and a lot of like nice bubble bath so these will definitely come in handy at some point when i next have a bath so thank you to connell's mum and dad for that the next couple of things i got from 
my mum's friend at work um she's got a daughter that is a year two years younger than me so my mum always buys for her and then um, my mum's friend buys for me so yeah so the two things that I got from my mum's friend this year was a pack of ankle socks everybody needs ankle socks don't they and they are really cute ones because they have woodland animals on so they have foxes and bears and deers and owls and all sorts so yeah I've got a big pack of ankle socks and then the other thing that my mum's friend got me was a sanctuary spa trio set candle trio set um which has got if you're interested the signature sanctuary candle the luxury oud candle and the driftwood and sea spray candle so that is those so i will very much be looking forward to burning them because i love shack sanctuary spa oh it smells amazing so yeah that was from my mum's friend the next couple of bits I got were, let's have a look, so I've got, I got a few bits, there we go, so um, these bits are actually from my dad's ex-wife or they are still married at the minute but obviously they are going through a divorce so I just count her as my dad's ex-wife, um, but yeah so i got some gorgeous little bits from her as well so i got this i believe it's a coaster so if you can see there we go it just says oh for fox sake um, which i think is so cute i love anything foxes as you might already know so that is a lovely present so i can put that at the side of my bed and then she also got me a wish bracelet the fox look look clever and curiosity close your eyes and make a wish tie this bracelet to your wrist when the thread breaks into two then your wish may come true so i thought that was really sweet um so again if it will focus there we go so that is the fox bracelet from claire and ryan and then the last thing that Claire and Ryan got me was a gorgeous scarf. So as you can see, it has foxes all over it and it is absolutely gorgeous. So I can't wait to wear this with something like, I don't know what I'm going to pair it with, but yeah, I, I just love it so much. It's so pretty. Um, so yeah, it's one of those like really thin um, scarves, but they're like a really like nice statement piece so I can't wait to wear that at some point so thank you so much to Claire and Ryan for those they mean so much to me the next thing that I've got is what should I show you next I'll show you the couple of bits that I got from my cousin now these are absolutely beautiful um I love them so much I believe this is everything from my cousin yeah I think it is so the first thing she got me was girl power pens which I just thought was so weird because she got me some pens and um, like a stationery sort of notepad set and I also got her a notepad where you can write like what you're thankful for and stuff with some really nice pencils so we had a similar we had a similar theme going on this year but these are super cute so there's four pens one says girl power slay all day just be you and the future is female so i really like those i don't know where she gets these from but they're super cute so that's that one and then the other thing that i got from her was i'm getting notifications on my watch the other thing that i got from her is i'm here to pet all the dogs which i originally thought was a notepad but then i soon realized that it's one of those sticky note um, things which also always comes in useful for us because we always use these like like sticky notepad things um, for like shopping lists and everything like that. So this is a great present because we would definitely get our use out of that. And I just thought it was so cute. It's just got loads of little doggies on it and it's just super, super cute. So yeah, those were from Kaylee and then this nearly made me cry i was like oh my god i was so blown away with this it is absolutely gorgeous so i'm one of those people that is just so so like 
affect like not affected but like so so touched by like personal presence and Kaylee got me this which just means the absolute world I cannot wait to get a frame for this I'm gonna get a gorgeous like glass frame and I'm gonna put this up on my wall somewhere I don't know where but I'm gonna put it somewhere because it is absolutely stunning um again I don't know where she got it from it says dreamer illustration but I'm not entirely sure so I don't know if you can see but it is basically a little sort of cartoon um creation picture I guess I don't know um of myself Connell and Keita so yeah like I say Keita was my family dog that passed recently and at the bottom it says my happy place which I just think is the most gorgeous thing ever I look at it and it just makes me so so happy so yeah she she's so incredibly thoughtful like I just can't even explain how much this means to me and how much I love it. Um, yeah, I literally can't wait to put this in a frame. It's one of my favourite presents I've got this year. So that's that from Kaylee. And then that's just my watch box that that came in, obviously. Um, what should I do next? So basically all of this is from my mum, I believe. I've got two bits from my friends, so I'll do them first, actually. So, from my friends, we had them come round the other night um, and we exchanged gifts and these are the gifts that I got from my friends. So, we got this, which I was so blown away because I've seen these everywhere and I think they're fantastic gifts and I just think it's such a thoughtful gift, especially at the minute. Um, I mean, obviously, with everything happening with COVID-19 and everything, um, I don't actually know when we're going to be able to use this, but hopefully within the next sort of 12 months we'll get we'll get use out of it. So it is basically, if you've never seen them before, it's a smart box buy a gift set. And you can choose from over 2,010 experiences. And on the back it basically shows you like all the different locations that you can go and you can do anything. So obviously these are for two people, so myself and Connell. So you can do gourmet experiences, pampering treats, days out, thrilling adventures. Yeah, basically anything you can think of, um, you can do together. And obviously they've like paid for the experience. So yeah, we can basically just go and do something together, whether it's a day out or I'm guessing maybe an overnight stay at a hotel or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, absolutely cannot wait to get our use out of this. I think it's just a such a thoughtful present and it's one of those presents that like if you're not sure what to get people everybody loves an experience everybody loves to do like things together with a partner so I just think that was an amazing gift so thank you so much to Nicole and Tom for that because that is just an amazing present and an even more amazing present which nearly made me cry and um, Nicole actually said this wasn't for specifically for me for Christmas she just wanted to get it for me um and I just think it's just perfect it's absolutely perfect so on the front it says a house is not a home without paw prints oh so as you can see that's the so that's the lid of the box you can take the box out and then all around the box you can put four different photos on it which I just thought was beautiful and um, she was actually going to put some photos in for me but it came the morning that she came to our house so she didn't have time but yeah i will pick some photos out i'll pick some of my favorites out and pop them in here but i just thought that was such a beautiful gift like like i say anything personalized i'm i'm there for i absolutely love and this means so much to me so hopefully i can get something nice to store in this box and have my four pictures of my baby girl in there so yeah that was an amazing present so that is that one from nicole and tom so the last bits that i've got are all from my mum so i'm gonna do these items first then i'm gonna do this big box down here because i've got a big box of something to show you so the first thing that I got was actually it says on the, it said on the tag from Keita and my mum said that she wrapped this before Keita passed away so it was just again just a lovely a lovely little moment um just to see Keita's name on the tag it was just lovely 
this is actually one of the presents that I asked for. I only actually asked for two presents, which is uh, this and the big box down there. But this is one of my favourite perfumes and it is quite expensive to buy. So I don't, I don't always have it. I sort of buy it as a treat for myself. But it's Michael Kors Sexy Amber. So she bought me a 50ml of that. So this is like my perfume for special occasions. Everybody has a perfume for special occasions, don't they? Um, my friend Sammy actually bought me a perfume, which she gave me early, but I'm I'm just including it as a Christmas present because it was just, it's absolutely beautiful, basically. It's a perfume from Avon, and it's like, it's really strange. It's like, it's like a gel perfume. So like you squeeze it and it's like gel that comes out instead of a spray, it's really, like mesmerizing but it smells amazing i've got it on today it just smells so nice but for like treat days and just like special date nights and things like that this is my go-to perfume i absolutely love it and it just reminds me of holiday so i'm excited to have that back in my life again the next thing from my mum we were absolutely blown away again she treated us to some absolutely gorgeous bits this year so we got an Echo Dot. So my mum, I think it was for my birthday or Christmas last year. I can't remember. And um, we got an Alexa. So it's the older Alexa. So it's like the sort of disc one. And I opened this and I was like, we've already got an Alexa. But I think, yeah, it's still an Alexa, but it's the Echo Dot, but it's the new one. So it's like the one that's kind of like a bit higher. So yeah, I cannot wait to set this up because we've been saying for ages that we want one for upstairs in our bedroom and we want one downstairs because downstairs we use it for like setting timers for dinner and things like that. And we really, really wanted one upstairs. But it was the kind of thing that I didn't want to spend the money on it because it, it wasn't really necessary. Like we've got our phones for like alarms and things like that. So we didn't really need it. It wasn't an a necessity but I think what we're going to do is have this one downstairs in the kitchen and then bring the older one up here so we can set alarms so yeah and play music up here obviously when we're getting ready so yeah I just thought that was a really thoughtful gift we've not actually opened it yet so we can't wait to set this up we might actually set it up today like later today but yeah an amazing gift I think this is just a gift that everybody loves like you could buy it for anybody and anybody would love it you have so like hours and hours of fun with an alexa so that's that one from my mum and then we also got some like really random bits but really cool bits as well so she basically bought us some mini smart wi-fi socket so you might look at this and think what the hell is that so that was basically me on christmas morning i was like not to sound ungrateful but you've bought me plugs <laughs> and then she told me that so my mum has these plugs that you have a remote with so instead of like reaching under your Christmas tree or reaching under a table or whatever to turn plugs off you basically link it all up to a remote and then each plug is corresponding with a different number on your remote so instead of like reaching under to turn plugs off and whatever you can just switch off with a remote which I think is a genius idea so that is basically what these are so I believe they come with four plugs and it says on the back here remote control schedule and timer away mode voice control boosted wi-fi easy setup device sharing usage time tracking and flame retardant so yeah I actually can't wait to use these so yeah such a grown-up present but such a practical amazing present because who wants to reach underneath the Christmas tree and turn like three sets of lights off nobody wants to do that so yeah I think this is an amazing idea and we can't wait to set this up and also with like the Christmas lights that we have outside that we have plugged in behind our TV or for TV or whatever like lights in the kitchen it's just fantastic so yeah literally cannot wait to use these <laughs> and then the thing to kind of go with that is a smart led bulb so this is basically if you've never seen one of these before they are color changing bulbs so essentially what you do is again you can set it with the remote and you can have like you can switch my camera cut out <laughs> so like i was saying so you can basically use these corresponding with the 
plugs, plug sockets, and you can basically like set it to change colour, like you can put it through all the colours or you can set it to one like colour and it's just amazing. I just think it's great. Um, so yeah, there's loads of different colours, there's pink, purple, blue, green, orange, white, everything, so yeah, literally can't, yeah. And it's compatible with the Google Assistant as well and the Amazon Alexa. So obviously she's bought us an Alexa. So what we can basically do is have the new Alexa downstairs and go, Alexa, turn the lights to pink or whatever. So literally can't wait for getting this out and using this because <laughs> this is going to be fab. So yeah, it's going to be like a disco in our house. The next thing that I got from my mum was this little... LED I think it's like an, I don't know if it's LED well it's it's battery it's a battery operated mirror and I've wanted one of these for so long because I've got a really really old mirror on my dressing table and I wanted one that lights up I mean yeah I've had what I've had the one I've got currently for about four or five years and it's just scratched to hell and yeah I basically just wanted one with a light so yeah again I've not actually set this up yet but I believe it's from uh I believe it's from Amazon I think um but yeah it's one of those ones that like is touch screen so you can turn it on it does actually need batteries I can't remember like what batteries it needs I think it needs four double A's yeah insert four double A's but yeah I just think this is an amazing gift and yeah I can finally get rid of my grotty mirror <laughs> that is sat on my dressing table so yeah absolutely love that that is another amazing gift and it also comes with a little mini mirror as well which I thought was cute I don't know if you actually attach this on because it has got like sucker things at the back but yeah I might actually put that in the bathroom like just attach it onto the tiles but yeah that is such a great present so again can't wait to use that and then the next thing that I got from my mum my mum got me so much she spoiled me so much this year I've got the best mum in the world so I opened this gorgeous little box and it says handmade if you can see if it'll focus there we go um so obviously I had no idea what this was I opened it and it's basically this little feather with like a ball attached to it now I wasn't sure what this was I was like this is so pretty but what is it so I've taken up to reading um a lot recently I've been reading James Arthur's like story of his life book and I've been really really enjoying it and I sent my mum a picture like a couple of weeks ago now of um an old bookmark that I'd been using and it was like one that said daughter on it and as much as I love it it is quite childish like it is it's like really brightly colored it's quite retro um and never thought anything of it I just text my mum was like do you remember when you bought me this and I opened this and it's a bookmark and it is the most beautiful bookmark <laughs> I have ever seen in my entire life so if this is going to focus which I really hope it does um it is basically a feather come on focus there we go it is basically a feather with a beautiful butterfly and then if you can see this little ball here with like a tiny tiny little flower in it which it's just so beautiful like where does my mum get the like these stuff these bits from because honest to god that is that is a gorgeous present for somebody that reads a lot that is a beautiful beautiful present I love it so much so I honestly cannot wait to use that so that is just such a thoughtful gift like that is my mum all over just thoughtful gifts I love it so much so I've got oh I've got this to show you so we were in TK Maxx a while ago like a few weeks before Christmas but maybe a month before Christmas three weeks before and I saw this and I absolutely loved it and I was like can I please have this for Christmas can you wrap it up and give it to me for Christmas Um, again owning your like having your own house is like it basically makes you want to buy 
or have all the like adult things this might seem a boring present to like most people but i just love it so much so it's basically a large and mini spatula but it had a fox on oh my god like that is so pretty and then it's got a little mini one there with a rose on and for when i'm doing my baking and baking banana loaf and cupcakes and everything like that these will come in handy like i do not have a spatula and having a spatula is very very handy so i thought why buy a boring one when you can have a super cute one so that is one of the presents from my mum again and then we're nearly done guys <laughs> we're nearly done and then the next present i i opened this and i was in utter shock because we spoke about it M myself and connell spoke about getting one of these um quite a while ago probably about two months ago or something and we thought oh it, it, they're quite expensive for what they are and will we really get our use out of it it is my mum says it is a present for me but like i say it's for us both because myself and connor will both get our use out of it but i was absolutely blown away i was so in shock when i opened this present it was just oh my god I, i'll show you and um, most people i've seen most people have got one of these this year and it's like the go-to present for 2020 i just yeah most most of my friends have had one of these this year but it is a nintendo switch so i never imagined having a nintendo switch like this is the most amazing present well one of the most amazing presents i've ever received i just think it is amazing it's one of those presents that you could give to a six-year-old child or you could give to a 23-year-old woman and they will still love it. Even older than me, people will still love it. So I was in absolute shock. It came with a carry case as well, which is super, super cute. Um, but there's two different ones. So there's the Nintendo Lite, which is just a handheld one. And they have this one, which is um, the one that you can use handheld like this or you can take these controllers off either side and you can have it compatible with your tv so you can like compete against each other so i just think this is one of the best presents i've got this year i just absolutely love it and um, my mum also got me two games with it so she got me mario kart deluxe 8 which is obviously like <laughs> the go-to gift like the go-to game for the nintendo switch and then she also got me animal crossing which I was a bit hesitant about because I was never I've heard it's a lot like the Sims and I was never I never got along with the Sims like when it was a thing ages ago like years ago and I thought right I'll give it a go I'll give Animal Crossing a go and I love it so much like I've just been collecting like pears and collecting tree branches and doing jobs for people and I've set up my own like camping station oh it's amazing so yeah one of the main well I'm getting the main gift from my mum was a Nintendo Switch this year um, because they are very very pricey and I never expected for a second that I'd be so lucky to get a Nintendo Switch so I just have to say a huge huge thank you to my mum for this because yeah this is one of the best presents ever and I just I don't think I've had a day where I've not played on it and I've actually downloaded youtube on it as well so you can actually watch youtube on it which i think is incredible as well so yeah i just think that is such an amazing present and when i play it i just feel like a kid again and i just feel amazing it just gives me like all the fuzzy feelings so yeah that is the main present from my mum and then the last thing which is the biggest thing and it's not in this box it's actually downstairs um but i'm sure most of you guys will know what it is anyway it is a Dolce Gusto coffee machine. So I can't remember which one I got. I think it was a Jovia one. Jovia one, I think. Um, but yeah, it's super, super cute. It's super little in my kitchen. And yeah, I got some pods from it, it from B&M for it. And I've been using it, like trialing it out. I need to like, I need to use it a bit more because I don't think I'm using it quite right. Um, I need to like, because it comes with like the different pods obviously and then you use the pure coffee one first and then you use the milky one and you're supposed to like make it frothy and 
it's just not coming out frothy but yeah i need to get a bit more practice in with it but yeah this was the present that i actually asked for for christmas but yeah how sad am i being 23 and having a coffee machine but i love it so so much so yeah i can have lovely fresh coffee every morning now so yeah that is everything that i received for christmas this year i cannot believe how lucky i've been this year how spoiled i've been this year um i mean like i say this video is in no way bragging or in no way showing off what i got i just wanted to share with you guys everything that i received for christmas this year because even though it's been one of well it's been the crappiest year i've ever had um by far but we made christmas as good as we could have made it and it i had a lovely day we all had a lovely day and we spoil each other and yeah we we all got some lovely lovely bits this year so i'm super super grateful to every single person who bought me a gift this year um and sent me a card and wished me happy christmas it just means so so much to me so yeah this is gonna be the end of this video i'm gonna wrap this video up i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope that you can sit down and get cozy and yeah just enjoy this video it's going to be a long one but hopefully it's worth it for you guys but i wanted to get this video up before the end of the year so yeah hopefully it will go up tonight tonight today is tuesday so hopefully i can get it edited and up for you tonight so yes i hope you have a great rest of your week and i hope you have an absolutely amazing new year whatever you get up to i'm actually working this year um this new year i'm working new year's eve and new year's day but I don't really have a plan like we I don't personally ever do anything for new year so it makes no difference to me I don't mind but yeah I hope whatever you get up to if you can spend it with your loved ones then I hope you have an amazing time give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content from me in the near future and I will get going and I will see you guys really, really, really soon in my next video. I love you guys loads. Thank you for all the support and I hope you had an amazing Christmas and here's to 2021. Love you guys.